Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with your general reading for the week of October 9th through October 15th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's see. We're just doing one. So these are the major arcana that I have separated out. Now we're going to put them in. That is the overall energy for this week for the general reading here, of course. The chariot. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We're going to get a couple more cards out here, see what else you need to know this week and what is happening coming in. So for many of you with the overall energy, there's this energy with the overall energy of the chariot. There's an energy of needing to control your emotions this week, okay? Let's see what it is that you have happening, coming in, going on, that there might be that need. That is the overall energy, is a need to control emotions. So let's see. King of Wands, that King of Wands, I'll tell you, just about King of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. <laughs> let's get a couple more here. What else? The Tower, wow. All right. Good Lord. They're just wanting to flip right out. Okay. There you go. Aquarius. Okay. So you got the chariot here. So for some of you, there's an energy of, uh, this is the overall energy. So there's this energy with the, the tower of a need this week to really control your emotions. There's this energy of willpower coming in or needing to really step into that. Okay. Your, your willpower holding on and really, really staying strong this week. It's very interesting. Okay. There's, there's an energy of, um, momentum as far as, but it's coming through as emotional intelligence or emotional growth this week for you here, Aquarius. Now let's take a look at why that is coming through. Now you have two Kings. You've got the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Okay. The King of Wands has been coming through the readings quite a lot lately. A lot, a lot, a lot. So for some of you, there is going to be this King of Wands energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sag, um, that, that might be coming in kind of bold and almost in your face this week, Aquarius. There's an energy of, um, this person is like really comes across as very, very powerful. And for some of you, it may be overpowering energy for you, just bold and just right there in your face. Okay. Um, this, this energy is an energy of, for some of you, it's almost like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And holding back, um, potentially tears this week or, or, you know, that, um, energy of, you know what, I'm not going to allow this person to have power over me. I'm not going to write with that King of Wands energy, that King of Wands energy can be very fierce. It can be very, um, bold, very passionate, very powerful. And for some of you this week, there's that energy of, of a King of Wands, again, Aries, Leo, Sag, potentially being just in your face this week. So be aware of that Aquarius. Okay. Because this is like this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, almost like I, I need to move or I need to get out of here kind of energy, but um, it's coming in for a reason. Okay. Now you also have that King of Pentacles energy coming in. And with that King of Pentacles energy, there's an energy of, um, a responsible kind of entity showing up as well. Now, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So some of you for that, it's almost as if you've got these two kind of, uh, clashing, if that makes sense. This could be at work. This could be within relationships. It could be, um, just out somewhere. Right. But it's almost like there's a clash of these two personalities. It's almost like they're, there's this responsible energy. Potentially you are feeling both of these energies yourself, or you have placements in, um, air, excuse me, in earth and, uh, fire, right. Potentially you have placements Aquarius and you're like really kind of butting heads, but this is coming through during this time, Aquarius, with the King of Pentacles energy and the King of Wands energy to kind of move you 
or to make room for what is yet to come, okay? There's an emotional intelligence that is coming through this week with that overall energy, Aquarius. And some of you are really um, moving into the space of kind of with that King of Pentacles, kind of up leveling a little bit, uh, potentially in finances or in your personal life or kind of in material means this week. So there's that energy of making room. Now you also have that tower coming in, right? You've got, so you've got two major arcanas, uh, the tower and the chariot. So you've got that tower coming in here as well, Aquarius. And the tower is coming through with this energy of kind of an unexpected event or a challenge or disruption coming through. That is coming in this week because you're making room, Aquarius. This, this is, this is happening so that you're kind of releasing energy. You're making a room for what is yet to come or what is coming in. You've got this new energy, this new wave of energy coming in, Aquarius. So this unexpected disruption or event or challenge potentially between these two or, or within your yourself is happening for you to up level okay this is happening for a reason the tower is here Aquarius to move you out of the one energy and move you into a new energy okay into a new space so now you also have the six of pentacles coming in here and with that six of pentacles energy is this energy of kind of moving into the space of really being willing to give, okay? Give to others, give back in one way or another. For some of you, you have been um, or have a potential that you have been emotionally closed off, distant, right? And Aquarius has that kind of energy anyway. A lot of times they can be aloof or, or they can not be super emotional, but this is coming through here, Aquarius, to make room for you to have that willingness to open up, to connect, to have that energy of really, really um, being able to open up a line of consideration for yourself and others. Some of you have been in this state of kind of being um, overly, um, I, um, overly emotional is what's coming through here. And this isn't too shame or, or what have you, or actually it's overly detached is what is coming through here. But, um, this is coming through so that you can open up those emotions and have that emotional intelligence, have the willpower to be able to kind of be open to the emotions and to be able to control them at the same time. Sometimes we are so detached as Aquarians. I'm an Aquarius too. Many of you probably know that, um, we can be so detached that when we do let the emotions come out or show, um, it's almost like, wow, right? Like, oh my gosh, kind of overpowering, right? Um, that kind of thing, not only for us, but for other people as well, because they're just not used to that. So this is coming through with this energy here, Aquarius, this week within this general reading that, that it, it this emotional intelligence is coming in. This is happening to make room for this emotional intelligence that's coming in. Okay. This is what is coming in. So there's this generosity, this energy with that six of pentacles of opening up and being willing to share, right. To be generous with uh, yourself, with your consideration, with your kindness, with, uh, in some aspects, your emotions, and it's, it's opening up the space for you to level up. Okay. Now with that two of wands, you have that energy coming through of really, um, widening your perception. It's like you're standing up kind of on top of a, uh, well, this looks like a castle wall, right? On top of the castle wall and seeing out, it's almost like this big picture. For some of you, you're opening up, um, to the power that you have, right? For, and for some of you, you're, you're realizing or seeing that there's a potential that you have been distancing yourself, whether emotionally or within connections. And so this is happening this week for you, Aquarius, this tower moment, this kind of butting heads, this, um, energy of, of learning to control your emotions or moving into your emotional intelligence or understanding it more or up leveling as far as that's concerned, this disruption, it's all happening so that you can really sense your power and, um, realize that there's a potential that, that, you know, you can actually draw people into you. You can open up emotionally and still be safe. You can have connections with others and it's okay to do that without needing or feeling as if you need to, um, kind of 
shelter yourself is what's coming through here, Aquarius. So spirits like uh, Aquarius, it's time for you to make room. It's time for you to allow for this to come in, this emotional intelligence, this energy of allowing people in, um, you, you know, this unexpected uh, event or this unexpected energy with the how the tower, excuse me, disruption or challenge, it's really coming through to up level you to kind of raise that emotional intelligence to open up, right? Um, for you to allow for potentially others in, for you to be able to see that there is that energy that if you're feeling a little bit disconnected, that it may just be that you haven't been making the room for others and you've been kind of disconnecting or distancing yourself, but you have the power to change that Aquarius. So that is what is coming in, right? that change, that up leveling, that opening, that, that, um, allowing that sensing your power and that drawing that, um, connection closer to you or people, um, closer in connection to you, making deeper, more potent connections and, um, up leveling in that emotional intelligence, learning to control the emotional aspect and opening up and allowing emotions to be seen. All right. Woo. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit that like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.